世界はいつもこんなにもきれいに黄昏れていく金色の空が黒く闇に暮れていくその色がすごくきれいだった俺の知ってる世界はすべてどこもかしこも真っ黒でそしてある時から金色に輝き出した初めて見たシルビーはずぶ濡れでとてもお姫様だなんて思えなくてすごく綺麗な子だとは聞いたけどそれは俺にはわからないしただあの助けてくれてありがとう可愛い子だってのはすぐに分かったっけ金色の髪が似合う可愛い子だってこの世界は真っ暗だからそのままで輝いている金色はきっと無条件で素敵な色でそれを生まれた時から持ってるシルビーはとても素敵な子なんだろう正直最初は羨ましかった仲良くなれてよかったシルビーがいい子でよかった大好きになって羨む気持ちはすぐに消えた Hi and welcome back to some King Koi. If you have not seen the previous episode, please go ahead and watch it. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Now, if you have no idea how you got here and you want to see the other videos, go ahead and figure it out. Like I said in the last episode, you're a smart person, I bet. I'm sure you could figure it out. Welcome to Ryo's Root, where she's totally gay, it seems. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. I don't care. But welcome to Ryo's Root. We are now down to the last root of this series. I'm excited, but also not. But I also really, really, really wanted to. I really, really, very badly wanted to get to this route because I feel like it's going to be very, very interesting. But with that being said, let's get started. I fell in love with her, and those jealous feelings vanished in no time. Oh, so she's actually gay. I was, I was just kidding. あ、まあ、変な誤解はあったみたいだけど。お、お、女の子。俺そんなに男っぽいか。Yes。まあ、これがきっかけで友達になれたんだから、悪いことばかりじゃないか。シルビーはどこにいても一目でわかる。それはす
She wasn't taking the bait very well. Jump on the bandwagon already. Maria's fantastic and wonderful. Huh? What's gross about becoming a fan of a celebrity? That's better, thank you. Right? Becoming one of Maria's fans. Wait, what? Right? Become one of fans. What? I can't read. <laughs> right? Become one of Maria's fans too, then. Why? Why is this so difficult? The other day. After meeting Maria Bishop in the flesh, I just couldn't get her out of my head. Ah, great. Going back to here. She clung to me, right? Clung to my arm. What else could I say? In my mind, she was almost like a mythical presence, like an angel or a fairy. There was no way I'd ever forget how the real deal felt. Little does he know. The Maria Bishop was right there and she'd gotten close enough for me to touch her. At that. <gasps> Bro's having an orgasm there. Hmm. What is it? I wish she couldn't, wouldn't call me that. I didn't, it didn't sit right with me. Slow down me. Slow down. Especially given that it was my childhood nickname. No, no, no. We're in love with Maria Bishop in this room. Hmm. Sylvie? Yeah, probably. Way back then. Way back when. I didn't... Strike four. I'm out. I didn't really remember. But something told me I had loved her. My motives weren't exactly pure though. I only liked Sylvie because of how she looked. Uh... That... Um... Like heck I did. It was true I loved her when we were little, but I didn't really recall ever saying I loved her now. Oh, I saved it. So if I took a second to sort my feelings, doesn't seem like she falls into the love category for me anymore. Huh? But why are you mad? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I do love her, but only in the platonic. Kind of way. She was extremely high up there on my friend list, though. I lost the majority of my friends after what happened over summer break. Namely, my baseball club teammates and Torio. Oh, thank God. Please don't pick up Torio again. I really... Not in this route. Please. Please, please, please. I've already had enough of Torio. I don't want more of that. <sighs> Those are some fake friends for real. It was as if Sylvie had completely filled the hole they had left behind. I was also friends with Reyna and Nelson, but... In all honesty, my long-standing friendship with Sylvie made her stand out among the rest. I'm an adult now and romance was off the table the second I heard she was a princess. It was like having a Hollywood celebrity super close by. <sighs> Speaking of celebrities, do you guys have a celebrity crush? If so, let me know. Mine is Kiernan. And her last name I cannot remember, but I know it starts with an S. She's such a baddie. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, respectfully. <laughs> It'd be difficult to not be love-struck by someone in that position, and you'd want to fawn all over them for it. Even so, it's not like Sylvie was an ordinary woman. Get it? <laughs> what? Which is it? If that's an L, then it both doesn't fit the situation and ticks me off. But if it's a W, then I'll be ticked by the misunderstanding. Anyway, my relationship with Sylvie is as good as it's ever going to get. Don't screw this up for me. I could tell that I ranked at the absolute top of Sylvie's friends too. Oh yeah, absolutely. I love Sylvie. Mad, now that I think about it, I really like Sylvie and Reyna. Like, about the same almost. I could tell that I ranked at the- I already read this. A princess everyone admired. It certainly felt amazing to be such good friends with someone more famous than any Hollywood celebrity. No matter what I said, Rhea looked displeased. Why do you want me to put- why do you want to put me and Sylvie together? <laughs> she turned away. Hmm. I was curious about her and Sylvie's relationship. But I doubt she'd tell me anything, so I gave up. More importantly, you sure it's okay not to tell Sylvie about you? She wanted to keep her identity a secret from Sylvie. For some reason or another. I'll never understand that. I really hope they explain that in this room. If not, I'm going to be a bit salty. 
mildly salty. So Maria. So Makun. The first boy Sylvie ever loved, even though she wasn't actually a guy. Why won't you tell her? She wants to see you. Understood, ma'am. Have a great day. Huh? Jeez. She quickly turned away. I really didn't get her. Well, whatever. I'll drop it. Either way, it'd be a huge waste of time to try and get Sylvie and me to get her. Yeah. She crudely replied, still turned to the side. She'd probably pester me about it again later, but I needed to ignore her. Oh. Hmm? Ah. Uh, oh, yes. It was apparently there at the end of her gaze. Good, 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 good. She spotted the box from before. Rio held it in her hand. Uh, wait, Rio. Be careful with that. Huh? Plunk. She opened the box completely unfazed by my comment. With that, its contents quickly scattered across the floor. Ah, uh, what are you doing? Huh? She kneeled down to pick them up. Rhea had opened the box containing the four silver loverich emblems, which had pulled together at her feet. I just realized that they got those emblems together and nothing ever happened with those. Maybe in this room also? We'll get to see what's up with that. That'd be fun. I kept this I kept them in this box for safekeeping. Oh, don't forget our promise. Whoever finds the last one. Back at you. My own expression relaxed a moment, a sly grin spread across Ria's face. Yeah. These sorts of moments were perfect. Oh, that was right. This obviously goes for Sylvie. But you're one of my best friends, too. Huh? I love you. As a friend, of course. Uh, <laughs> Look at her getting all flustered. Oh, come on. Don't be shy. I know you feel the same way about me, too. Isn't that right, Soma? <laughs> One thing had changed since I learned Ryo's true identity. Our conversations had gotten considerably more relaxed since then. She upgraded from just being my easy-to-talk-to neighbor, the close childhood friend, so I'd say that transition was to be expected. What's more, I had memories of Soma being pretty attached to me back in the old days. Really? Interesting. Things obviously wouldn't be the same as they were back then. But we were definitely close, even back then. So now I could take on a slightly more proactive approach toward Rhea. <laughs> For as bothered as Rhea acted, she blushed. A soft attitude. Absolutely. It's the short ones that are the spiciest. Remember that. This, you know why? Because they're closer to the hell. Anyways, this was plenty to satisfy me. <laughs> Man. I seriously didn't piece it together. When did you figure it out? <laughs> the predator? That was the first day! Actually, remember. Alright, Ria. Chill out. Uh, vaguely recalled the name Soma being thrown around, too, you know? Anyone would ordinarily assume that was your first name. Who could have known that only was it her surname, but she was a completely different gender from what I remembered. Oh, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah, you're right. Ayaka eh? Ayaka hasn't noticed what? Excuse me. Phone vibrating. Phone, go away. Phone, go away. For real? That's not my fault. That was around the time when I was cleaning up my room with Riena, Riena, Reina, and Kikuchiya. If I recall, that was when... What happened then? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah, oh yeah. That was one of the days you actually went to class. The whole academy had been in an uproar the moment word got out that the resident sleepyhead had suddenly shown up on campus. <laughs> Oh, look, she's being chummy. She's never chummy. That's what was happening? 
which meant she was also playing dumb when I didn't remember her. Man, you should have told me sooner. Don't say that. You'll make your childhood friend lonely. Actually, being forgotten is way more depressing. I know I've said this before, but I am really, but I really am sorry. Rhea shrugged, seeming unfazed. She was so easygoing, sometimes. I did think her crummy attitude was part of the reason why I hadn't remembered her. Her personality was completely different from what I remembered. Weren't you more of a goody two-shoes back then? Although she wasn't without fault, this one straight-laced girl valued harmony with others above all else and our paths eventually crossed. What happened for you to become a delinquent? For real, bro, leave her alone. I wasn't complaining about her lifestyle, but it didn't make the shift any less surprising. To me, her situation was 10 times more interesting than an honor student turning into a troublemaker the second school let out for the summer. You changed your hair, too. Mm. What was her original hair color again? If I remember right... I guess it was. Not that I really remembered it very well. Huh? Huh? So, why the switch from black to blonde? Why'd you end up dying it? Rio scratched at the back of her head. After she thought it over for a minute. You too? Reyna had said the same thing. Oh, I forgot Reyna also dyed her hair. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Well, it is a popular hair color for a reason. When all was said and done, people loved golden blonde hair. It didn't look great on everyone. But as far as dyeing it that color went... I get what you're saying, but... There was a saying I'd heard once before. Everyone wants to be cool and it's important to put in the effort to become that way. I could agree with that idea. It was important for people to become the best, coolest selves. That there was nothing wrong with showing off. And... Oh, God. Oh. No sooner was there a knock at the door did Jogasaki come in without waiting for a reply. What gives? I would have thought she'd be a stickler for entering someone's room without permission. Surprisingly, Jogosaki pointed her icy glare directly at Ria. You're in my room, get out of here. Sure, sorry. She said that to me while looking at Ria for some reason. Well, now we got two. Yay. Oh, right. Sorry. Sorry, Ria, but let's call it a day. Hi, hi. Mrs. Naggy Pants over here. Mrs. Debbie Downer over here. Ria stood up. Sorry about this, Ria. Let's pick up the Maria discussion tomorrow. Just like that, off she went. Okay. Oops. それ誤解すんな。マリアビショップの良さを延々語られただけ。そう。ならいいわ。マリアの良さが分かるんですもん。庶民の割に<笑> Ah, <sighs> 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 When I shut my eyes, the world was dyed pitch black, and that brilliant golden color faded away. That was how it should be. I was used to the darkness and I found comfort in it. 
Even as I slipped into that calming pitch black world, I reminisced on those golden years. It was alright. Those shades of gold were in my mind. I was alright. I was fine with the darkness. I wasn't scared of it. I really wasn't. Ichi. What is that all about? God, bro, we just finished with you. Why are you here? Oh no. Underclassmen. Nothing. Don't worry about it. For whatever reason, I thought it would be fun to roll out and chant up and encounter her cute mannerisms. Not really. Huh? That sounded kind of dirty, Hakane. Given Akane-chan's personality, I knew there was nothing remotely sexual behind her comment. Still, I couldn't help but be surprised by it. A lap around Hamamatsu Lake? Yes, he doesn't sound very fired up. How far is that, by the way? What is 53 kilometers in miles? 32 miles, alright, that's a lot. <laughs> Wait, what? He said. Ooh. <laughs> I thought about falling behind you on the bicycle, but I don't know if that's possible. I politely turned her down, naturally. Oh, you poor thing. You need a better partner, though. You usually fly solo during a marathon, so you'll have to suck it up. Wait, I thought you were a short distance runner. Oh, God. <laughs> I like fake girls. Still, I couldn't go with her. Why not invite someone else? Like Reyna, for instance. Oh, that's probably the worst other choice you could do. And she went with it. Nice. She ran off to talk to Reina. Although I turned her down without a second thought, I stuck around to keep watch since I felt responsible for lighting a fire under her. When... Why do I get the feeling that she's lying? But at the same time, maybe she's not? She was lounging around and spread out on the sofa in the floor. You okay? Something happened? Mm, yeah, mm, <laughs> I'm Gucci. A cold? Didn't really seem like it. Oh, she might be lying. I wonder what happened. While I was lost in thought, why oh, does she sound so scared? <laughs> Certain someone came out of her room at a rather unusual time. Her screwed up schedule made it difficult to know when she'd be up and about, especially on her days off. And... Hey, you're up early today. Ria gave the back of her head a cursory scratch. Then... Akuna-chan practically ran away, as did several of the other boarders who were making use of the foyer. 
Didn't seem like she cared, personally. Rhea was enough of a nuisance when she walked around that it'd probably be better if she were a bit more concerned about it. Everyone seemed terrified of her. I was harmless, but those same high-class residents were once scared of me because of those lame rumors. Of course, they would be scared of a delinquent like Rhea was thrown into the same situation. Rhea... What? Rhea really was a good-hearted person once you got to know her. There just weren't many who would put in the effort to speak to her in the first place. Rhea spoke to her first. It wasn't as if there weren't any commendable people around. Ah, she left. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, followed her for whatever reason. Not really. Just thinking it's rare for a shuttle and I get to come outside. <laughs> Rio clicked her tongue at me. Still, she didn't tell me not to tag along. This worked out well for me then. It's not like I had anything else planned for the day, so I may as well join her and save myself from that 53 kilometer marathon. I walked up beside her. Huh. Isn't this my first time going on a walk with you? You always take a car when you go out, huh? Where did that car even come from? With her being my next door neighbor, I could generally tell when Rio was around and I noticed she'd often leave the dorm at night. When she did leave the dorm, a fancy looking type of van, one of like the limousines that came for Sylvie, would come to get her. Rio didn't respond to my question. Definitely like her. You know, walks can be nice too. I paid no mind and kept the conversation moving. I'd gotten a knack for keeping her company. If forcing her, if forcing it didn't work, force it some more. That doesn't sound right. It's a bit chilly and gives everything. Let me try that again. <clears throat> it's a bit chilly and gives everything this wintry-esque feel to it around this time of year. It's almost serene. Serene, serene, serene. I don't know. If I pushed, pushed, and pushed her some more. <laughs> She would respond, depending on her mood. The dorm's an inconvenient spot, but it's nice in terms of its atmosphere. Fuck? Huh? I took a deep breath. Oh, through bracing. Rio copied me and took in a breath. Oh no. What's wrong, my little smoker? Lungs don't like the nice, clean air? <laughs> oh man, I like the picking on Rio over her cigarette smoking habit. This is fun. You spread so much tar into the world on a routine basis that oxygen's come to hate you. <laughs> now she looked genuinely ticked off. We stopped for a moment. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. She slowly took in another deep breath. As long as she took it slowly, she wouldn't practically cough up a lung. Heck, her lungs were probably more caught off guard by the temperature rather than how clean the air was. I'm sure she'd be fine if she didn't rush it. Whoa, those are deep. Rio took in some more air. Huh? Hey, bro, you good? Jeez, those are huge freaking breaths. And exhale. You've got some crazy lung capacity. Imagine the blinkers she can hit off a joint. That's crazy. She inhaled way more than I expected just now. That was impressive. I know it indeed was. Training? Rio walked off without answering me. Lung capacity training? That was the sort of thing you'd expect a singer to say. Maybe she actually enjoyed karaoke or something? Is bro finally gonna put it together in this route? I'd be dang surprised if that was the case. So, did you want to go somewhere in particular? We made our way to... 
we made our way to Torward. We made our way toward the shopping district, which was a short walk away from the hill the academy was built on. In the corner of town, nestled in between the line of vacant shops, were several vending machines. Ah. Beep. She held up one of the cards needed to purchase cigarettes from vending machines to the reader. Where did you get one of those? <laughs> With that, she purchased a pack of cigarettes. What a scary woman. This area was also designated smoking area and even included an ashtray. Ria took out Ria took one out without any hesitation. Awfully nice weather we got today, huh? Ash stepped away. This was likely the private property of whoever set up the machines, so it seemed to be okay to smoke here, but this was most certainly outdoors. I wasn't brave enough to do something like that, nor did I feel comfortable standing beside her. I took another step back. Why? It didn't take long enough for Rhea to polish off one of the cigarettes. <sighs> when she was finished, she came out of the smoking area. Well, that was really quick. Jesus. Hey, you gonna be fine with the cops and whatnot? Cops didn't exactly have tons of time to spare either. It was one thing for them to go after speeding cars with points on their license, but they probably wouldn't bother talking to a bunch of brats smoking. I doubt anyone will look at you and assume you're old enough to smoke though. Huh? She does look like she's at least, at least 15. Slip all the tongue. Don't worry about it. She was a little annoyed. Looked like she was aware of how teensy she was. She sure is. And she quickly turned around and made her way into the nearest convenience store. I watched her and... Rhea bought a full carton of the same cigarettes she just purchased from the vending machine. Why go to all that effort? I chased after her. It wasn't just the police who were careless, but even the clerk didn't act particularly suspicious. Rio tapped the small screen in front of the register to confirm she was over 20 years of age. Is that actually the the age to smoke in Japan? The employees appear to be a newbie. The employee. They had no idea which of the tobacco products she wanted from the lineup behind the register. Yeah, cigarettes did come in a staggering variety. Not that a non-smoker like me could tell them apart. Ria irritably held up a box. Or maybe this was how she he'd been trained. They got the number explicitly from the customer in the vent, you couldn't tell. <laughs> Why are you so mean to the employee for... Not mean, maybe rude. Yeah, I don't like your attitude, Rhea. What's up with you? The clerk went to grab it. But... He brought back a foreign brand in a bright white box. It was totally different from the black box Rhea had on her. Uh, number 36, I think. I didn't want to help, but I felt really bad for the clerk and went over to lend him a hand. The clerk brought over the selected carton and it seemed to match the same pack Rhea had purchased from the vending machine outside. You're welcome. Bro was over here stressing. I just know he was. You could hear it in his voice, poor thing. <laughs> Rio finished paying and walked out of the store. I left the this hard, tinned looking clerk behind. Poor clerk guy. Phew. Really worked up a sweat back there, huh? I might have put Ria. It would have felt awkward to leave the store on that note, so I bought some random candy. <sighs> Ria sounded ticked off. Well, I guess he was being kind of a stickler? I hated to be rough on a rookie, but not only did he not refuse to sell Ria cigarettes with one look at her, he fell back on procedure in the strangest way. Talk about inflexible. I don't think Ria was in any position to complain now. She looks 15. I followed even younger. I followed after as she started to walk off. <laughs> hmm? It just occurred to me. Has she waited 
for me to come out? What was Hmm. Oh, chocolate bolos. Oh. That sounds fire. Have you bought any recently? I bought them a few times since we made that agreement. So this car. What's with the face? You don't sound enthused at all. Well then, ha <laughs> I'll take all four of those emblems for myself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're not allowed to make fun of me. So, but... She shrugged. Cool headed as ever. Huh? Huh? Uh, she shoved the carton in a single open pack. 13 boxes of cigarettes in total. On to me. Don't make me carry these awful things. We are headed into the nearby pharmacy. I hadn't expected her to make so many stops today. Uh, yes. Welcome back. What'd you buy? I asked as I handed her the pile of cigarettes. We opened the bag and showed me. The bag contained vitamin supplements and chocolate bolos. Oh, nice car. Trying to pick a fight with me? Hmm. You sure? She handed me the chocolate bowls. Pulled together with the one I bought earlier. We had two boxes. I might just swap them if either has got an emblem, you know? Right, right. I opened it. And there I found... Exactly what I expected. And now, now, calm down. It would be a way bigger surprise if we got any from just two. Like I said, calm down. That would be rude. We decided to head home. Do you play any mobile games? Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She said if you want to buy the entire store supply of chocolate bolo. That would be rude. Why is that considered rude? I don't understand. Someone please explain. I don't understand. Don't do it. You're definitely the type who dump all their money into it. Because she has an addictive personality, clearly. Oh, one other question. What was with the supplements? You don't seem like you're especially health conscious. This is just the real flaming episode. He's just flaming her any chance he gets. Anything about cigarettes, anything about health. Bro's just dumping it on her. <laughs> That's hilarious. Huh? I didn't get it. I didn't either. When we made it back to the dorm. She's still dying. Oh no, she wasn't kidding. Oh, it's just one of those things where Reina would definitely do to get away with something she doesn't want to do. I don't know why she wasn't actually faking it though. But I guess, I guess, I guess. Everyone was making a fuzz over Reina. When all was said and done, she was popular. Everyone would worry if she were in poor shape. <clears throat> Rhea? Something wrong? <laughs> oh, where did that come from? Drink water. <laughs> with a grin, Rhea headed back to her room with a bag of cigarettes and vitamins in tow. Like that marked the end of a compulsory outing. How to put it? It seriously seemed like an excursion. Cigarettes, vitamins, and sweets. She deliberately went to three separate places to buy items she could have gotten at a single convenience or drugstore. An outing with a delinquent with a foul mouth and attitude. It had been dangerous to buy those cigarettes. 
but it had been pretty fun, so I chalked it up as a good time. That does sound like a nice little mission. I like that. Even though I had no clue what kind of supplements she'd bought in the end. What's up with this woman? Placebo? Place ball? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Aw, poor Reina. Soma? Soma? Pretty cool name you've got. Nice to meet you, Soma. Haha. Ha. What, Ria? That's like a girl's name. Oh, my Yama girl. Soma is much cooler. Yeah, much better. So. <laughs> Must be great having such a cool name. My name is Oro, of all things. Oro. What's so great about it? Oro apparently means to like, go down the righteous or noble path. And nobody gets that. Whenever I bring a sack lunch to school, everyone always says, Oro so poro. I hate it. <laughs> Guys have to have cool names. I'm so jealous, so... Hmm? You're acting kind of girly for a dude. Did she just not say just now that she's not a dude? He's such a dummy. You should cut loose. Don't let... Don't all the other guys do the same? Let's get a jump on the others and have you get used to it with me. Sounds cool, right? Go on, give it a try. Just be like, hey man. All right. Now we're better friends than those other guys. So? How could you not tell by her voice, bro? I don't understand. Really, neither Torio or Takato will play along, no matter how many times I ask. This is between just you and me. <laughs> Hope we'll be good friends, Soma. Huh? Aw, she sounds so wholesome as a baby. What happened to her? Trauma. Clearly. <laughs> she looks like she's been through it. So bad. And she's a whole cigarette smoker. Or what if she was already smoking cigarettes? I don't know. You never know. Ah. Without warning, dreams often had a bad habit of opening the door to your memories without any rhyme or reason. It was my fault she took on that manly speech pattern. You know what? Just maybe. Actually, that was a pretty crazy series of events for me to up and decide she was male. I remembered all too well that I never listened to what people told me as a kid. Was I really that outrageous? You're not the only one, Otto. I was terrible as a kid too. Oh man. I could have sworn that there was some other reason I thought she was a boy. Well, because of her hair. Can you leave me alone? Yeah, morning. And with that, Akane-chan invited me to radio calisthenics and dragged me outside. Hmm. Some memory nearly came back to me. Oh well. Oh well. This is a perfect spot to wrap it up. Oh. Save us, it Oh. Interesting. Okay, cool. So now, now that we have a save here for Rhea's route, we won't have to click golden time anymore. I really liked this first episode. I'd say it was a very, very solid start to Rhea's route. I think we can all agree that this is going to be a banger. I have this gut feeling and hopefully this gut feeling is right. You know, Rhea is a very interesting character and her getting bullied by Oda is, is honestly funny. He pulls, he comes up with the most out of pocket jokes sometimes that I'm like, all right, this is actually pretty funny. This is actually pretty funny, but man, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to get through this room. Got on here today and I was like, oh man, I can't wait to start this room. And, uh, it was started. <laughs> 
we started. And with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up here. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Share this video with your homies if you want to see some more visual novels like these or something completely different. Please let me know in the comment section below. I have a whole list written of recommendations I've gotten throughout this whole time that I've been playing this game. So we're definitely going to have quite a bit of options. So pretend I didn't just say that I'm looking for recommendations because I actually have a lot already. So forget I said that. Or maybe just hold on to that thought of yours or that recommendation. Anyways, I'll let y'all go. Y'all stay safe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, guys.